Dressed in jean shorts and tube socks, this new arrival is shivering as he and others are getting a good taste of a Chicago winter. There are about 280 migrants at the city's landing zone, packed into warming buses, waiting for shelter as the cold rain pours down. Of course, it's not ideal. I don't think they were meant to be a, a permanent solution. Um, the city I know is struggling to find uh, available beds. And Andre Gordillo's organization, New Life Centers, is assisting the city in welcoming the new arrivals. They are all given a coat, warm clothing, and a blanket, but nothing more. For now, as, as they wait and, uh, for beds to open up, we can't be providing three jackets and, and four blankets because storage becomes an issue. And there is no spare room on the buses. Jose Angel Farias has been living on one for three days. He's worried about the health of his two-year-old daughter. Farias says there are some people on the buses with fevers. He says, we do not have the means for a medical emergency. The buses are super crowded. There is not room for one more person. Farias says sleeping at night on the bus is almost impossible. Families, specifically single women and children, are the first to be placed in a shelter. Single men are the last. Some have been living at the landing zone for several days. 21-year-old Andres Gusayo says, Although the bus is uncomfortable, at least it gives you a little warmth. The landing zone may get some relief by week's end. The long-awaited state shelter at a former Little Village CVS is scheduled to open soon. And a new shelter comes just in time for migrants to experience a Chicago winter in January. Single digits are expected early next week. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.